Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so in today's episode, I'm going to tackle questions about what are some of the projects freelance Hadoop engineers can do or Hadoop administrators, what are some projects from the, in the freelance world that are going to translate and be good targets if you're looking to be able to grab some kind of freelance Hadoop administrative job. Find out more right after this. Welcome back. So before we jump into today's question, I just want to remind you, if you have any questions, submit them in the comment section here below. And then also make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an episode. I will answer as many of these questions as I can get to. I just need you to keep coming in and submitting the questions and giving me feedback on the types of content that you'd like to see. So thank everyone for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And now let's jump into today's big data, big question. So my question comes in from a YouTube comment. What freelance projects can be done by Hadoop administrators? So this one's a little bit tougher, I believe, than you know when we talk about data engineers and we talk about the development side. I feel like those projects are a little bit easier to find as far as you know being able to bid for them, but also new projects come in on the development side a lot. But when you think about the administrative side, so think about you know continuous development, continuously you know, holding up that operation side for Hadoop. So you've got a Hadoop cluster, you're continually adding new clusters, you're patching it, you're doing the day-to-day -day operations. So those are more permanent roles, right? So it's a little bit harder to find a freelance position for, you know, a couple months or something like that for a project on the development side versus in the administrative side. However, I will say, you know, if you're looking to fill those roles, I think you're going to find more of a short-term contract with those. And so by those, I don't mean, you know, a development, you, you, have a, you have a project that comes in, it may take, you know, may take you two weeks, may take you, you know, two months. I believe the Hadoop administrator roles, they're gonna be a little longer if you're looking for a contract position. And a lot of those are gonna be more consultative type. So think of new emerging companies, they're starting up their Hadoop environment, jumping into the Hadoop ecosystem, they don't really have a basis for how they're gonna do it. And so they're looking for people to really come in and be those knowledge experts to help them get off the ground. And so that kind of engagement, it's probably gonna be at least three months, probably six, maybe even a little bit longer. So these are more long-term contracts, in my opinion, that you're gonna be able to find. The cool thing about these roles is if you have a background or you have a desire to be able to be a trainer and be able to help lead and teach other people, that's one of one of my passions. These are the kind of roles that you're going to be able to do. So not only do you get to be hands on and be technical, you get to be, you know, help a team that, you know, may, is brand new to the Hadoop ecosystem, you know, maybe has a ton of experience in other areas, but you get to draw on that experience and help them build out their first Hadoop cluster, start working on some of their first use cases. And it's something that, you know, it can be very rewarding. So if you're looking for these roles, and that's that's probably what the question is referring to. I would look for companies that are just starting to dive into the Hadoop ecosystem. So um, this is probably going to be a little more, you're looking for people that are just going into that role. So look, look to see who's hiring, you know, Hadoop administrators and some of those, some of those other roles, and then just reach out and contact those companies, you know, let them know, you know, give them, give them your background, talk to them a little bit about some of the technologies that they're working on. If you have anything that you've been contributing to or working with in the open source community around HDFS or Ambari, or you know any of the any administrative things like Zookeeper, those are where you can really shine and say, hey, look, I'm I'm involved in this community here. I'd love you know I'd love to come in, have a conversation, talk to you about you know how you're standing up your Hadoop cluster, where you know where where some of the troubleshooting issues are going to come up, you know where what are some of the things that I've seen with my experience that I think you should look out for and I can kind of help with. I think those are going to be amazing roles. So like I said, it's going to be harder probably than the you know, data engineer who focuses more on the development side, but it's going to be, in my opinion, could be a lot more rewarding because of the fact that you're going to get, you're, you're probably going to be more of a consultant and you're going to be more running a team. So you're still hands on in the tech, but you're actually being able to train and communicate to others how they're going to have this system up and running long time after your engagement ends. So thanks for the question and make sure you subscribe to the channel and then we will see you on the next episode of Big Data, Big Questions.